What's up you guys, it's the Amber Amber's Closet and today we're gonna do October's q and I know, I messed up. I don't know what happened. I mean, a lot happened last month with traveling and going through a lot of things personally, so I kind of forgot. It slipped my mind, but I'm sorry. A lot of you guys did yell at me on Instagram and here I am to make up for it. And right now, I just wanna tell you guys, any of you guys that are in LA, I'm kinda of doing like a meet and greet situation this Sunday at Downtown Independent, and that's what it's called, for my LGBTQ panel that I'm doing again. I posted the panel a few times, so you guys have seen it and the behind the scenes, but this one's gonna be good. This one's gonna be the biggest one ever. We have a lot of people coming out and we're covering a lot of awesome topics. Please come and check us out this Sunday. It starts at 2 p.m. I will put all the information down below. How come you're not rocking the hats anymore? A lot of people have asked me that and honestly you guys you know how obsessed with my hats that I am and how much I hate my forehead. I do not look good with my locks in hats. Maybe a little bit backwards I can rock it like sometimes but it just looks awkward. I don't know like it's just the way I wear my hair or something like that. There literally is a question on here. How do you fuck? I'm mad confused. How do you approach and deal with setbacks in your life and remain positive when faced with difficult decisions? And honestly, like, as positive as I am, I have weak times and I have times where things get so overwhelming, it's like hard for me and it's like I keep trying to fucking climb out and climb out and just dirt keeps getting thrown on me. Like, I understand those situations and when those happen, honestly, like, as strong as I am, it's really about like the people I have around me. There's been so many situations where some of my friends recently are the reason why I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Because we all have bad days and that's why you surround yourself with positive and motivating people that will help you through those situations. It's like they did that for me. I'm always going to be there for them to do the same. But also it's those self-reflections I was talking about earlier. You have to go through that and put yourself in those situ situations and scenarios. And sometimes you have to take your own mind outside of yourself and, and view yourself as if you were just looking looking at yourself and try to give yourself some advice from the outside standpoint and I think that that's kind of what puts me back on track sometimes. Would you rather eat chocolate covered poop or poop covered chocolate? That is so disgusting, but I think I'm gonna have to go with poop covered chocolate because it just sounds like a smaller layer of poop and it sounds like once I get to through that small layer of poop that's covering it, I can get to some chocolate and maybe the chocolate will overcome the poop sensation and I might be able to live. I don't know. If you were given all the money in the world, what would you do and what would you buy? I have answered this before in a past vlog and I talked about giving money to people and helping people and uh, you know and giving back to homeless and creating situations where I'm able to help them and different things like that and yes I will still do that and I will still help out a lot of people but I think with what is going on right now in the US with the presidential candidates and a lot of them that are moving up in the polls are people with power and money what I would do is help out the candidates without that power and money and help them remove up in the polls because most likely they are the ones that need to represent our country and they are being looked over and the other person that should represent our country is kind of getting you know bullied right now so I would use my money and help out in that way because we need better representation for the United States of America and for myself I would put myself through law school and I would put myself in a path to in the pol political realm and maybe become a figure that could help in that way because if nobody else is gonna do it I am very willing to what superpower would you choose out of invisibility super strength flying speaking to animals or reading minds oh my god this is good oh my god I want to say I want to do in invisibility I don't know it seems like I could just get in some really good trouble with that just being invisible and just showing up on people and just scaring the shit out of them and just doing all kinds of crazy stuff maybe sneak into a bank get some money at some point in time but only the corrupt bank and then get back to the poor a little bit too I think I'll do all that. I'll be like the invisible Robin Hood. The female stem invisible Robin Hood slash Batman. Cause I really love Batman. So I wanna like solve some crime and be like a Batman too. Yeah. If you could change and be anyone else, who would it be? I think that I would switch and be Ellen or Oprah right now and probably become president. I mean, come on, there's so much more that I would do if I was them. Cause uh, they are so powerful and they're amazing and they have no limits to what they're capable of. Badass women. Now that you're a full-time YouTuber, have your long-term goals changed? Yes and no. Uh, like I was just talking about, there's still part of me that wants to go to law school and wants to do things in the business realm or the political realm. There's still part of me of that. And then with YouTube, it's opened a lot of doors with like acting and being able to host and being able to be creative and things like that. So then, yes, that side of things has changed my long-term goals in general because now I'm after 
certain things in this realm and I'm gonna give myself um, a certain amount of time to work on things in this realm and if it doesn't pan out then I'm going back to what I've kind of put aside but still doing and that's the business aspect and the business side of me. Do you like Drake's hotline bling dance moves? Hell yeah, but you know what's the funniest thing about that? Is that um, my friend sent me like a compilation of all the vines that were like making fun of him. So as he was like doing these dances, he was hitting tennis balls and throwing out pepperonis and shit. That was the funniest thing on earth to me. So yes, I've been like doing his dance moves like everywhere. I'm gonna get them down. Cause I feel like I wanna redo that video at some point. Are you a romantic type of girl? Yes, I believe myself to be a romantic type of girl. Me and my friends made up a word kind of, I don't know if it was high school or college, but we made up a word called simp. And it's like simpy, like an emo. You're emotional, you're extra loving. You're just like, you know, just very much into like being a boo and being loving and being all over and whatever. So I'm a little bit of a simp, you know what I'm saying? I'm a thug simp. I'm a simpy thug, you feel me? After watching a cool documentary, Same Difference, which I've seen, your stance on aggressive girls stem stud wearing false hair and effects so th they actually hit me up about that movie and kind of wanting me to be in it and then i don't know what happened but i wasn't a lot of my friends were in that first of all and i was very happy to see the stud where she calls herself a stud that's a stud dancer showing herself wearing false hair and doing all these things because i think that's looked over a lot sometimes people forget just as just because we're dominant women that we are also still women so we also still want to look presentable and we want to look our best so certain things that we might do like makeup and hair and all that other stuff is just something that comes along with that and so I wanted to be something that is more normal and less abnormal for people so I was really happy to see that and you, you guys should check that out when are you gonna do another story time I have one coming up soon I'm sorry I just haven't been able to kind of like get in front of the camera and do it but I'm gonna do a few for you guys coming up wait on me how do you keep a level head and not go ham on niggas when they're on their bullshit flow especially when it comes to your family it really just has to do with you and where you are in life and what your priorities are because as crazy as people can be and as many fuck boys and fuck girls that are out there just trying to mess up your shit at the end of the day you have to know where you are and if yourself is a priority or all their bullshit they're spilling out is not a priority for you then that's what you have to realize you kind of just have to back up chill out and be like look I can't be on this level with you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's not important to me. If you could collab with any female YouTuber that you haven't already, who would it be? Of course, Lily. Lily Singh, Superwoman. I mean, she's dope as shit. Favorite Thanksgiving food? Oh man, this is tough. I really like turkey wings. And I really like taking turkey and making a turkey sandwich the next day, but also stuffing. You only get stuffing a few times a year and if you get some good stuffing, oh my God. Favorite upcoming artist? Actually, a few of these people are my friends. You guys always ask me about my music and my taste and things like that. The music in this video right now is one of my friends that's up and coming, Honey La Rochelle. I don't even know how to explain her because she's Neo Soul, but she's also like dance music. She's just feel good music and she's amazing. Also, Sonia Tiklai, you, I have been putting her music on everything. I've known her since we were so young. She's amazing. Um, my boy Fonzie, I put some of his songs on here before. He just released his EPs and also so of course Malia my friend I'm I miss Malia so much and one more friend Gabe when his music comes out you guys are gonna go crazy it's an all-boy group and you guys are gonna go psycho so just wait for it I'm gonna put down below because you guys need to support these people they're so amazing tell us one of your greatest memories from your childhood I have a lot of great memories with my dad my dad was the best dad at always wanting to make us the happiest ever and we went to a private school you know and like we had like private school lunches or people already brought their lunch but it was always the coolest and best thing ever because my dad would pop into town I would have no idea that he would come be coming into town and he'd bring us like McDonald's for lunch you know when we you were little McDonald's for lunch was everything Everything. But he was so dope because he would come and he would bring Ashton and I lunch um, from McDonald's but he'd also bring it for our friends but also one time my dad surprised the whole school and he showed up with a lot of his Raiders players because at the time he was coaching the LA Raiders and so he showed up with a lot of the Raiders that were still on the team at that point that were so popular and he came up there and some of them had their Super Bowl rings like my dad and they came up there and like was all at my school like out of nowhere and signed autographs for everybody I mean I was already kind of cool because my dad had a Super Bowl ring at that point but them showing up oh come on I and then all the little Catholic school white people looked at us little mixed kids at the school a little bit different after that, so it was pretty tight. <laughs> if you could have one celebrity be on your YouTube videos, who would it be and why? 
I don't know why, but the first person that popped in my head was Kevin Hart. And maybe because I subscribed to him on YouTube as well, but he's so funny. And I would like, love to take his little chocolate drop character, the one that raps and thinks he's hella tight, and let Ambrosia battle his motherfucking ass on a YouTube video. That would be so funny. Have you ever been arrested? Hell nah! Thank God. Can you please do a fan mail video? And honestly, I want to do this. And there was one of you guys that sent me something from Bahamas, and the letter was open and messed up, and it messed up your name. I don't know what happened along the way. Like, some things get messed up. But my box is in the description below. I would love to do more of these videos. I don't get enough to kind of do fan mail videos, but if I do one day, like, I would love to start doing them for you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this q and I have um, a video that's going to be very hard for me to put out um, coming up. After that, I do have some story times and a vlog whatever for you guys and then after that I might actually slow my page down for a little bit and not do Tuesday and Thursday and kind of put out uh, stuff for you guys as I can because it's because my schedule is so crazy it's been hard for me to kind of give you guys some great content and I'm not sure when that's gonna happen but just let me put that in your guys' ear for right now so that you guys are all ready for it when it does happen but anyways I love you guys so much and I will see you soon all right peace